So welcome everybody and good afternoon. We're a little bit behind time, so we'll try and get straight into it. And you, I have the three panelists. We have Edmund Harty, the technical director of Dairy Master, Sean Ryan, CEO of Aspen Grove on my immediate left, and Paula Fitzsimons, the managing director of Fitzsimons Consulting. So um, in effect, what I decided that there was enough sort of advocacy around, uh, you know, so more should be done about women entrepreneurs. They weren't setting up at the same rate. And my further research allowed me to say not only were they not setting up at the same rate as men, despite the policy spotlight on them for the last seven to ten years, uh, that gap, that ratio has not been narrowed. But moreover, if I look at the population in Ireland and look at the population of entrepreneurs, then I'm saying for every nine men, there's one woman with significant ambition. Now, that is something that we need to address. And if you like, in terms of our product or service from Fitzsimons Consulting, what we have developed is going for growth. And what going for growth builds on is an understanding from GEM, which told me the characteristics of women entrepreneurs what their personal context were, what they needed to allow the business to grow. Sean, business plan, day one? No, I mean, we, we plan a year maybe, but yeah. that's about it. And um, we have a BHAG, a big hairy ass goal, all right? But, <laughs> but, but that's sort of, that's sort of... <laughs> well, we're all learning, yeah. It, it's, it's a business term, you can Google it. Um, <laughs> But other than that, really, it's it's more about how do we how do we plan to operationalize our business. So, when we get the next customer, how do we get that through the manufacturing process? And it is it software is effectively a manufacturing process, so that I know that if I hire two more salespeople, what I need to actually deliver that. So it's it's a mathematical formula. Effectively, if I can hire ten more salespeople, I can push that through. Now we haven't matured that yet, but that's where we're heading in terms of our forecasting. And how, how effective, at the moment, there's the, the big debate is on, obviously, in mm -hmm. Europe in terms of mm -hmm. agriculture and settling yeah. the issues between yeah. now the Commission, the Parliament, yeah. and... Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And tell me, from your point of view, I that think, I, is I, a big I, influence, I, I, I assume. I, I, th I think there's good opportunities for yeah. agriculture, and yeah. I think, first of all, I think it's a thing that Ireland is actually very good at. It's something yeah. that we've got a lot of. It's a big industry. Yeah. And if you look at world population growth, 200,000 a day, yeah. the island of Ireland every month, people are going to need food. It's yeah. one of the most basic needs. So then the question is, how are we operating in that space? Back to the question that, that I mentioned to Carolyn earlier, how are we doing it better than anybody else in the world? And yes. that's the question we've to ask and communicate. Are we, and so on, I mean, yeah. given the controversy, unfortunately, the last few months with the horse uh, meat? You know what? I think that's a huge opportunity. An opportunity. Right? You okay. look at Ireland, you know, yeah. you and you look at, let's say, the German market, and we've a sizable amount of beef and dairy products going in there, and it's, it's a very important market for us as well. Um, you know, why not have a barcode on every bit of beef going out of the country? QR code. Yeah. You scan it. Imagine, imagine if we arrived home with that, or well, or imagine if we opened the fridge at home and we both saw it. The two of us, the mobile phone would be out and we'd be scanning it out of curiosity, if nothing else. And uh, we could we could link that to tourism. We could say, geez, this animal is rare in Kerry. By the way, your man, he happens to be somewhere near Frankfurt Hand. Did you know you can be in Kerry in? Under two hours, you know, and would you like a nice holiday? And there, and, 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 and there you go. And the, the, the question is, right, well, well, as a country, and take this sector, where do we want to be? And my view of where I think we could be is to be renowned for the best food in the world because it suits our agriculture, it suits our tourism, it suits companies like ourselves because you can say, well, are you producing equipment for producing the best food in the world? And um, I think to be about aligning a whole series of industries together. Now that's very much, you know, blue sky thinking. Where do we want to be at, whatever point in the future? Yeah. But that's some of it anyway. You know? 